go to the other template again for that i go to home i go to new and i want to work on the other templates so i say install templates this time i want to work let me work on some uh, complex uh, template let me work on personal monthly budget oh this one is a complex and having more data so as a as an accountant or as a data entry executive in the finance department i will have to work on all these areas enter data and make a monthly budget statement now in this case we believe that this particular statement will be used for all 12 months at least for one year all right if there will be a change which may happen there might be a change in the income extra income or the other variables which are defined over here now if you see very carefully in this template income one is entered along with extra income and total monthly income is having a formula which is inbuilt at, that is sum bracket e4 colon e5 now this formula we have not entered it is already entered in the template so again in this case we have income one extra income and again we have the formula which is already there so what is happening i can just make a change here in the monthly income and you will actually see the change happening in the total monthly income if i reduce this extra income from 500 to 200 or maybe any change i do the same change will be shown in the formula where we have used this particular field so total monthly income is shown as now this which is the addition of the this row and the second row in this column as well if you come to the next uh, area which is having projected balance actual balance and the difference so if i make a change in this if you see it is actually taken as a formula you know from e6 minus j58 so this particular value is coming not as a entry but is a result of some other Uh, column that we are using so it is e6 you can see it is e6 minus your j58 right so somewhere down they have written some other data that is being used in calculating or in projecting the projected balance or projected income minus expenses so let me just go to the other column so first one is housing see in the in in budget normally what we do we actually have the whole amount with us and then we see that from this particular amount where where all we have to do expenditure so the housing what expenditure is housing which is nothing but rent so you say that the projected cost is thus we entered number 1500 the actual cost is given as 1400 and the difference is coming out to be 100 now you will also you should have noticed that they have used these icons over here green red yellow which is nothing but the conditional formatting right and they are also inbuilt over here so we haven't done any conditional formatting over here it is all inbuilt in the system as and when you will make a change in the amount you know you make this amount for example you know you see this particular red minus 40 what does it mean that this particular bill is still unpaid bill from the person i have to still pay that bill and it is red because it is unpaid so if i make it you know maybe more uh, uh, you know if i just change this to say just maybe 400 and this will be again showing as red as minus 340 let me make it just less and you see this particular column has become green reason being earlier it was in negative so it was actually alarming the person that hey you have to still pay that phone bill because it is still in negative but the moment i make a change in this it is showing me the green symbol which is going which has gone on the positive side right then we have the electricity uh, information uh, again projected actual the difference then the gas bill 200 180 to you know like that we can enter the data with respect to water say 50 you can enter the actual and the projected and like this all the blank columns can be added 
with respect to this information. So I just add the random number waste removal. I give maybe ten dollars. That is the projected. The actual is more. So that is okay. I can write more. So cable is uh, thirty. Anybody who's working on the entering this data in this sheet must be aware about basic accounts, right? Because those very people may not be experienced programmers in Excel, but they need to know like where they are entering what, because only then the data that they have entered will present them a meaningful output. Like over here, I can also enter this, and then another amount like this. All the blank columns can be entered very easily, and you can make the monthly budget for individual person. 